Bill, maybe we, we, should, we shouldn't take them off. <laughs> Here, come on over on this side, Bill. So we get that nice sun in our face. Did he hit hard? He did, and he was right near the boat. I thought okay. I was pretty much done with the retrieval, and boom. Let's do like those tournament up. guys. You ready? You ready? Can you heave him in the boat? 12 pound test, it didn't break. You know what? I hate to tell you this, but we would consider this a small, smallmouth. Really? For out here. Excellent. Oh, yeah. We've been getting him up to like four or five pounds. Look at you. You're a pro. You got two hooks just in the roof of the mouth. Perfect hook job. Remember I said to keep your eye on your lure because sometimes they'll follow right up to yep. the boat? It yep. looked like that guy hit he did. very close to the he boat. Did. You know, all kidding aside, that's a respectable start. Sure so that's is. the first fish Excellent. of the day. I always like my guests to get the first fish. Yeah. I think that's great. <laughs> Thanks for letting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You watch him take off. He's going to disappear because we've got, even though the water's clear, he's gone like a bullet. Now, Bill, I know you're a really busy guy. You work really hard. There's probably some pretty exciting things coming out of Dickies. I know you're working like on an outdoor line of clothing and stuff. Yep. And you've got some pretty big stores. You know, I haven't been in one of the stores yet. I only see the clothing in some of the other merchandise stores. Yeah, yeah. We opened up a new store in Milton, Ontario last year. It's doing yeah. pretty well, just off the 401. So yeah, it's doing really good. The nice thing about that store is it showcases all our product in one location. So good. I try Excellent. to do a good job, but you know, depending on where I travel, I can't. I don't do a lot of the really hard work, you know, right. construction stuff. Even though this is pretty demanding, as you can see, sure. right? <laughs> Many definitions to work. That's right. Okay, I was going to take these off, but maybe we should make a few more casts. Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. The wind's actually helping us to cast, so this is good. We're out here on Lake Erie. We're probably about a mile out from shore. And it's early in the season. That's why we're wearing, wearing a hoodie and Bill's got his thick shirt on because it's cold. This morning it's probably about 10 degrees and they're only calling for a high of about 16. The nice thing about fishing this side of Lake Erie, we're in New York State, they have an all year open season for bass. So these bass, because the water's cold, if you look on my sonar here, it's only 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The bass haven't even moved close to shore. So we call these fish pre-spawn bass. And they're pretty aggressive. That first one that hit that husky jerk came up probably from about 10 feet of water to hit that lure only about uh, two to three feet below the surface. That's what we're using. This particular one is 13 centimeters long. It's a very good bait to twitch when you're looking for fish over a big wide area. Now, I haven't been too lucky this morning. I'm going to see if this guy is going to stay on. He's got one hook in his mouth. I'm going to try to flip him in. Oh, oh. now he's got one <laughs> hook. He had two. You know, normally we use a net. Uh-oh, he's going to... Got to be careful here. Watch the hooks. If we got fish that were a little bit bigger, we'd be using a net. Maybe I should have used the net. He's thrashing <laughs> quite a bit. Come on, settle down. Okay, are you game to thumb him here? Absolutely. You, you watch the yep. trebles. Good. You're a bold man. Okay, now while you do that, I'm going to get the pliers. You know, it's kind of handy. I've got a little tool rack right on the boat here that's got everything there. Oh, wrong pliers. Those are the wire cutters. We don't want to do that. You know why I have the wire cutters in the boat? It's not for a good reason. Yeah, hook. If you get a hook in, right. you have to cut off the barb. Because I, I have been hooked many times, as you can imagine, over the years. And I've seen other people hooked. And what the easiest thing to do is to actually push the hook past the barb. Now, right. How the heck? I've got him just tight to the bone here. I'm just trying to get the pliers. He's not hooked deep. He's just hooked well. He wasn't going to get off, Bill. That's for sure. We're like the surgical team. E R. There we go. F E R. Right. Fish emergency. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Why don't we just yeah. gently put him in? And this water's so clear, Bill. You'll be able to see him just swim away. Nice bass. Ooh. Boy, they've got tons of energy, eh, because the water's cold. Now, one thing that we're doing, you know, we're using this twitching technique because the water's still pretty cool. Here, it's about 57 degrees. And when they hit, even though the water's cold, both of us are really putting the boots to the fish, setting the hook hard and keeping the pressure on. 
because it's very easy for smallmouth to jump and throw the hooks, even if you're using a lure with three treble hooks like this. And we've lost a few fish this morning. We're not sure if they were all smallmouth or some of them were pike. So if you see us being a little bit aggressive like these tournament guys, it's because we're trying to get the hook into these fish and then of course get them into the boat so we can show them to you.